Welcome Pokemon fans, my name is Angel of the Night 091 and today we are actually going to do some Wi-Fi battling with the Snowpoint Temple group. Uh, today we are going to battle with Talus Torterra. So let's see here if we can find him. Now I've actually chosen six random Pokemon. So I've got there the Avalug, the Darmanitan, Jolteon, Mr. Mime, uh, Sceptile, and then there was one more. <laughs> trying to think of the name there because I saw it just a few seconds ago. But I'm pretty sure you guys saw the Pokemon. So we're just going to wait for Telus to join us here. And we'll try to have an epic battle. All right, let's choose some awesome music. All right, battle start. All right, so we're just waiting for Telus here. All right, and I think he's using his Battle Box Pokemon, of course. Okay, so let's see what Pokemon we have to fight against for today. Okay, looks like he has Gallade, Torterra, Garchomp. He's got a Chimeco, a Volcarona, and an Onix. So today I'm actually going to lead off with, I think, Kenny, Marcel, Andrew, Daniel, Jane, and of course my poor Sceptile that has no name. Alright, let's get this battle underway, guys. This is exciting. Epic music cued. Alright, Talus has taken the stage. And it looks like he's going to lead off here with his Chimeco first. So I'm going to lead off here with my Kenny. My... Um, i trying to think of the, that one's name. What kind of Pokemon is this here? Can't think of the name of it. Oh, well. It's not going to tell me here. That's unfortunate. Alright, so to lead off, I'm going to just go to play it safe. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave. So I'm going to paralyze the Chimeco. Alright, so Chimeco is uh, going to use Reflect. And that's going to raise the defense power of the full team, which is not good for me. Um, now it's Probably not that bulky, but I'm going to go right for the return, so I should be able to get a stab off with it. Ooh, not bad. Even for a reflect being up, that's not bad. Alright, so maybe I should probably switch out and go to something that's a little bit more... Let's see here. What do we have for our Marcel? Yeah, I think I'm going to switch out to Marcel just because of the special defense. I don't want to really ruin... Um, I'm trying to think of that dog's name here. I can't think of it. Let's see if I can load it up. So it looks like he switched out his Chimeco, which is not bad. And it looks like the Onyx is going to come into play. Now, this could be bad for me, but I'm going to go straight for a Confuse Ray. Oh, cat hair in my eye. <laughs> Alright, so the Confuse Ray I'm going to use to try to confuse the Onyx. Now, it looks like he sent out the Onyx to try to wall uh, my Pokemon, of course, that I had him before. And that Pokemon... Oh, sorry, it's a Stoutland, is what I was using before. So there's the Confuse Ray hitting the Onyx. All right, Onyx is now confused. Hopefully it gets hurt in its confusion. That would definitely play well on my part. It's not. <laughs> Looks like it's going to get the Earthquake off. And I do live, and I gain health with the leftovers. So that's not good. Uh, so I'm going to maybe go for a Stab Psychic. See if maybe that might hurt it. Now it is still under the light screen. And hopefully it gets hurt in the confusion. Come on. Yes! Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Still regaining my health with my leftovers. So I think what I'll do next is go for a Dazzling Gleam. Just for a fairy type move in case he decides to switch. Looks like he's not. He's going to stay in there. Oh! 
Took it right down into the red zone. Hurt by confusion. No! No! There's the explosion! Oh no! That's gonna hurt. Oh! Took out my Marcel! No way! Alright, so Marcel's down and out, guys. We both took one out each. Uh, so I'm gonna go back out into my Stoutland. And the next Pokemon that comes into play, hopefully I can get the Paralysis off onto it. Okay, so we are just gonna wait for Telus to choose his Pokemon here. Alright, Stoutland back out, and oh, the Gallade! Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do to be able to take that. All of my Pokemon are kind of frail to it. Kenny might be able to survive. Might. I know the defense is up there. But if I can get the Thunder Wave off onto it, that'd be good. Oh, he's going to withdraw. Oh, totally unexpected. He's going out to Bacon and Pizza, which is his Torterra, of course. All right, what do I have for Torterra? don't really have anything here. Alright, I'm just going to keep the Stoutland in here. And I'm going to maybe go for... Now, this is the part where I'm not sure on if the Stoutland that I have is going to be able to outspeed the Torterra, or if the Torterra is going to outspeed me. If it can outspeed me, of course, um, the reversal will come, into ha come in handy. But it is a wall, of course, so I'm not sure what the best method is here. I can't really swap out to my Avalug. But maybe what I'll do is I'll go for a return just to kind of see how things go. So I am faster. The return is not doing much damage. He's going for the Leech Seed. Not really good here. I can't paralyze him and... Return is not going to do anything, so that's stabbed. So basically, Kenny is, is walled here. So I'm going to have to bring Kenny back, I think. Alright, so Kenny's going to come back. He's probably going to predict this switch. Um, I'm going to go out to Andrew. Monkeys being monkey. <laughs> Alright, so... Looks like he went for a curse. So the fact that I actually have Avalug in at the moment is good. Uh, I have no speed evs or IVs here. So I'm going to wait to see if he might attack. I'm going to go for an Avalanche. Now, yeah, okay, so he obviously knows that I'm going to wall him here. And out... Oh! Okay, so out comes the Volcarona. And that did not much damage at all. I'm going to go back out. And I think Kenny's going to be the safe way to go. I want to try to Thunder Wave it, of course. Uh, let's see here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so he's gone for... I should have probably just stayed in and went for the Earthquake. It's probably bad on my part. Let's see if I can maybe Thunder Wave it here. Maybe it won't have enough power to take down my Stoutland. But I feel that it might. But if I can get that Thunder Wave off, that's going to be pretty epic, because that's just going to stop his Volcarona from really just sweeping this team. Okay, so he's gone straight for the Bug Buzz. Come on, live, Stoutland. Live. Oh. No. Not going to live that one. I think what I'm going to have to do... I don't think I have anything that's going to outspeed that. Maybe the Jolteon might be able to. And I have a Pattaya Berry. Uh, my attacks... Thunder Wave... Or Thunderbolt... 
this, they're, they're both female. Shadow Ball. I know it's Hidden Power Ice, so that's not really going to do much. Um, my Sceptile should be able to outspeed it. I might be able to, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think uh, Sceptile is probably going to be the way to go, as long as I Mega Evolve it. And I'm going to go straight for the Dragon Pulse. Now, if I can get the Dragon Pulse off, it might be enough with the Mega Form uh, to take down the Volcarona. I'm hoping, anyway. I'm not sure, but I'm hoping. I need to have an epic name for this Sceptile. I'm not really sure what to choose, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and we'll, uh, we'll maybe get a nickname for this awesome, shiny uh, Mega Sceptile. Oh, Fiery Dance! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, come on! Oh, what? Okay, so... <laughs> there goes my Mega. So, I'm kind of screwed here. <laughs> Maybe Hihi Daruma, or Darmanitan might be able to do it. Maybe if I go for the Earthquake, maybe it'll do some damage to it. Oh, Hidden Power, it's probably water. That would just be my luck. Oh, oh, I barely live. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Should have done that in the first place. Shoot. Okay. And of course, I'm Life Orb, guys. So Daniel's down to 34 hit points. Okay. I wonder what he'll bring in. The Onyx is gone. The Volcarona's gone. The Lade. He's totally gonna wreck it. Uh, what if... I'll just go for the Flare Blitz here. He's definitely going to outspeed. My speed's only about 317 when it's at level 100. And there's the Mega. Ooh. This is getting dangerous, guys. Oh! Oh, I still have speed! Come on! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh! They're down! They're both down! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! He's probably got his Chime Echo. Yeah. Oh man! This is a heated fight. Um, okay, so... Probably should just go for the Thunderbolt. Alright, there goes the Chimeco, I think. Oh! Oh, it lived! Oh, man! This is intense! This is intense! <laughs> okay, there's the Shadow Ball. Come on, the Shadow Ball. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, Shadow Ball's off. There goes the Chai Mecco. <laughs> oh, this is a good fight, guys. This is a good fight. <laughs> All right, so we've been in this fight now for about 12 minutes, 30 seconds. And it's been awesome this entire time. Oh, there's the Garchomp. Oh, no. Oh, do I go? F I, I gotta go for the Hidden Power. Come on, Hidden Power. You can do it. Oh! Oh no, 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 no! Yes! The Pattaya Boost! Yes! Oh, this is awesome! Okay, going right for the Hidden Power again. Okay, so there goes the Chomp. So now all I think I have left to deal with is the uh, Torterra. Oh man, my heart's just erasing. Tell us, buddy. This is awesome. All right, so there's the Torterra. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for an Attract. <laughs> if you guys haven't known how I battle yet, I definitely put Attract on pretty well almost every Pokemon. Just to throw people off. Now, oh, there's the Earthquake. Okay, so that really wasn't a good plan, but if it had worked... I would have been able to maybe get two of the hidden powers off. Um, I feel that one hidden power isn't going to be enough to take it out. 
But if I do Avalanche, uh, it might be enough to take it out here. So we are down one to one, guys. <laughs> oh, man. So close. All right, here's the selection of Avalanche. I'm just waiting for Telus. Looks like he's gone for the Leech Seed. Which is not a bad move. Of course, it's going to drain my health very slowly. Oh, very close. Very close. Right down into the red. Even if I get hit by an Earthquake, I might be able to take it. Um, just because of the actual effort values that I put into the defense. So, ooh, Leftovers and Leech Seed. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Um... I'm going to try to go for another Avalanche here. Oh, Seed Bomb. Okay. No Earthquake. Earthquake would have definitely been the play to use here. There's the uh, Avalanche. All right. So there goes the Bacon and Pizza. <laughs> That's a crazy name. Bacon and Pizza. All right, Telus. That was an awesome battle there, buddy. Good game. I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, the video or the battle uh, also. Uh, make sure that you guys comment below the video for what name you think I should name my uh, shiny Mega Sceptile. Uh, also as well, be sure to hit the thumbs up, press that like button, and I hope you guys have a great evening. Take care.